Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Hoster. I'm a staff member in the admissions office at the College of Engineering and Computer Science here at Syracuse University. And we're very excited and grateful that you're interested in learning more about the opportunities that Syracuse offers in engineering and computer science. We've assembled a great team of some of our best and brightest students to give you a look inside our laboratory and give you an idea of the exciting hands-on experiences you would have inside and outside the classroom as an engineering or computer science student here at Syracuse. Enjoy the tour. Hi, my name is Daniel Oluwalana. I am a senior studying aerospace engineering and welcome to the subsonic wind tunnel. Um, this is a known stop for junior uh, mechanical and aerospace engineers here because this is where we run a very popular fourth lab in fluid dynamics um, for our mechanical aerospace lab, <laughs> ME315. You'll know more about that when you get here. It's wonderful. Um, so, like I said, to my left, this is the uh, subsonic wind tunnel. Subsonic meaning it is under the speed of sound. The speed of sound is 330 meters per second, so it's less than that. Um, but it's very, very cool and very, very, still very, very fast um, moving air that goes through this uh, contraption you see here. So how it works is there's a fan right there. Uh, and so when you turn it on, it starts roaring. And like, it, it just makes a lot of noise because it's trying to push air through the entire column. And at the corners, you have um, turning vanes that help to fine tune and streamline that airflow. And it goes down all the way to this transparent section, uh, where we call our test section, <laughs> because it has the smallest area in the entire um, tunnel. And so you're allowed to, so it essentially forces the air because of the conservation of, of, um, of mass. So here you have the mass flow, which is going to be conserved essentially and so you're going to have the smallest area corresponding to the highest velocity so that's why you test in the test section and in my hand is i believe it's a clark y airfoil wing so it's symmetric um, so you can see the upper part looks just like the bottom part and uh and the crucial part of this test is you really want to see how the coefficient of lift because of this airfoil um, relates to the angle at which we twist the airfoil so something you probably uh, notice um, what essentially causes the, the plane to fly is because we're generating lift. And so what you want to do is you want to see how the angle at which you place the, the wings will actually relate to you making more lift or less lift. Or less lift. Okay, so we put it in and normally it's the, if you look below, there are a lot of sensors, a lot of pressure transducers and they're connected to the computer because what you're trying to do is you're trying to calibrate it. So you have to calibrate properly um, the sensors to measure the forces. And so here you have the earth, you have the, um, the air coming in and striking at a particular angle, right? And so you have the drag being parallel to the um, free stream velocity, which is velocity at which the air is coming in, and the lift being normal to it. So with that, because of the force calibrations and the formulas, we actually use matrices to get the relationship between the, what the force sensor reads to the lift and drag. And from lift and drag, we can back out the coefficient of lift, because we're trying to non-dimensionalize it. And the formula is, you know, CL is equal to L over half rho V squared multiplied by the frontal area of the wing. So once you have that, you then see, okay, what happens when I twist it this way? and there's a new angle at which the velocity, the friction velocity strikes it. How would that relate to my CL? And then you do that over a couple of angles and you might even get to stall. You're not really getting anything much um, from the velocity. And that's when you be like, okay, we can stop. And we keep it and we record it and we plot data and we see um, how it actually relates and how it works. So that's just a brief overview of the tunnel. I uh, hope you like it. And, uh, Orange. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tour and we're excited to learn about the hands on opportunities inside the laboratories here at Syracuse University. We look forward to connecting with you during one of our live virtual sessions. We have info sessions where you can connect with us from the admissions office. You can connect with our current students and connect with our professors to talk more about your interests as well as the opportunities here and how Syracuse could be a great fit for you for your education in engineering and computer science. We hope to connect with you soon. Go Orange!